Hey there, it's Mandy from Designer Chameleon. Today I am going to do the continuation of setting up my new goal journal. Um, for me, it's only a couple hours after I filmed my initial setup because I wanted to edit that a little bit so that my patrons could get early access to it. But it is the same day, basically, is what I'm trying to say, and I'm ready to keep going. So if you didn't watch the first video, or actually it would be the second video. All right, let me <laughs> rewind. So I did a mid-year planner lineup video uh, about a month ago, and then I have a video setting up the beginning of this journal that I showed in my planner lineup. And now this is the part three, I guess, where I am going to be setting up for the month of September. I would encourage you to maybe watch those other videos just so you can see the progression. But if you don't want to, I will give you a super fast recap. So this is a journal from Scribble and Dot. It is a dot grid journal. Um, I put my name on my name page, and then I put in a, let me make sure we're in shot. Yeah, okay. I put in a fun quote because I have a bad habit of thinking that journals need to look and always be perfect, and the point is to use it and not worry about it being perfect. Then I decided that I would like to incorporate some Moxie Life uh, constructs and basically their structure to see if that works for me. I've never done it before. So they offer printables, free pages on their website, which I downloaded and printed into sticker form. So this is their information on setting goals and what they call their life compass, which is the different categories that they encourage you to uh, rate how you're feeling about them and set your goals. Uh, some additional information on getting started. And then I have their basically jumping off points and uh, prompts for working on your goals for each category. And I also have a barking dog. <laughs> I created a space for the four months that are left of this year. And I did that for each category. So that's the super quick on the basic setup that I have for the front of my journal. Now I'm going to jump into setting up September specifically. So I already outlined how I'd like it to look and what I'm thinking. I also printed up a bunch of different stickers for myself. So let's go ahead and get this figured out. I'm going to start with a 2024 calendar and I don't like drawing out the calendars. I know a lot of people who use these types of journals do draw them out. If you're like me and you don't want to, um, I always offer yearly stickers, little, little mini calendars in my sticker shop. These ones are for 2025. I offer them Monday start and Sunday start. I am a Monday start girly. So we're just going to take the September 2024 calendar and we're going to put it up in the corner. For no particular reason other than I thought but it would be cute there. And I'm going to continue my B theme. So I printed out a bunch of my honeybee stickers and I'm using them to start off this uh, journal because I think they're cute and they match the cute little bee that's on the cover. It definitely surprises some people when they find out that I am really not a super decorative planner uh, because I am an artist and I love drawing the stickers. However, I keep my planners and my journals kind of a little bit more on the simple side. So a couple little embellishments and I'm super happy. I might put a couple things more on the bottom, we'll see. So I'm going to write in all of the different categories down the side, or actually, did I print stickers for that? I bet I did. I got into a sticker creating frenzy last night. Okay, so I printed out the different categories for myself in this font that I personally like a lot, and I'm going to run those down the side of the page. Now that I have all of my different categories, I'm going to just put in some really simple circles for me to put in the scores. 
just gonna make like little slashy dotty super loose And then what I've done is I took some colored pencils and I picked out colors that I thought matched the different categories as best as I could. So we're going to use those on the circles. I have stopped and started so many times I can't even see straight. It is a barktastic day, like I said. So I want to incorporate the book Atomic Habits into my goal setting for this month. And I'll show you how I plan to weave that into my layout here. I erased out all of my pencil marks and now I'm going to put in my stickers. This will make setting up my goal page every month a lot quicker, which I'm totally down for. It helps if I line them up correctly though. So this is kind of a, a me thing. This isn't something that I think I picked up in um, any of my Moxie Life or my Atomic Goals readings or things that I'm using to help me think through what I want to do. But obviously I want to, you know, write in my goal, but I'd also like to write in my why, why that goal is something that I feel is important to focus on and then what actions I'm going to do to achieve that goal and then a retrospective for the end of the month saying basically what worked what didn't work what I would change that kind of thing and I'm going to take the colored pencils and kind of do a little bit of embellishment keeping it kind of messy on purpose, just we're, we're trying to have fun. I'm not trying to make it too fussy. I do think that I will put in some honey drips just because why not? And I will spare you from listening to the chaos of Barktown and I'll get these set up real quick and then we'll come back to the goals. So for writing out the goals, we're going to switch to voiceover for a couple of reasons. It's really hard for me to write out my goals while I'm thinking about what I'm doing and talking out loud. And frankly, we also have Mr. Barks a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch to voiceover. My personal goal for September is to start developing new habits and set myself up for future success in all areas of my life. And to do that, I'm going to make sure that I finish reading the book Atomic Habits. I'm really enjoying it so far. And I'm also going to set up my journal for October to keep myself on a positive trajectory. For the category of family and relationships, I want to make sure I'm putting extra attention and focus on my husband because this month is our 25th wedding anniversary. And that's a really big one. And it deserves a lot of extra attention so that he knows that I appreciate him and that we're properly celebrating what has gone into 25 wonderful years. In the category of health and wellness, I'm really focusing on drinking my water, being more hydrated, and trying to ingest fewer empty calories. And I'm going to use an atomic habits concept of habit stacking for this. So every time I fill up my coffee mug or my wine glass, I'm going to also refill the Yeti that I keep my water in so that when that beverage is gone, my coffee, my wine, whatever, I immediately have a glass of water to drink next. I'm thinking that'll be a really helpful thing for me to start doing. And I also got myself a new Yeti to help me with my goal. For the area of spiritual and personal growth, I'm going to focus on gratitude. Every morning I drink a glass of water before I get out of bed and while I'm drinking that water I'm going to make a point to think of something that I'm grateful for and to practice gratitude so that I have a little bit more positivity just to start my day with. For financial we had a little camera blip but my goal is to not put everything off until tax season. 
So specifically for September, I'm going to create a log for my redecorating project, just so I have those finances a little bit more in order. Last but not least, the category of physical environment. If you've been following along with me, especially over on Patreon, I've been working on a redecorating project in my office and my creative space for months. It's not going well, being honest, but it's worth it. So I'm going to make sure that I get some more decluttering done. And also I'd like to start habit stacking where I clean off my desk every morning when I come in and sit down and don't just start off the day with things piled up. I hope sharing my goals for September have helped you maybe think of some goals for yourself for the month and that you'll come back at the end of the month and help me with my retrospective and looking forward to October. See you soon. Thank you.